Uh, today I'm talking about jealousy problem. Uh, this is like a state history look at his house. And he was born in 1782. He was a prominent U.S. statesman and spokesman for the slave plantation system. And as a young congressman from South Carolina, he helped throw in the United States into war with Great Britain and established the Second Bank of the United States. And Carl Hall went out to serve as the U.S. Secretary of War, Vice President, and briefly as the Secretary of the State. And he was born in 1782. He was the first child of Patrick Calhoun. And his father joined the South Irish immigration from country Dalgao to the back country south of South Carolina. And his father was ill when he was the age of 17, so he had to quit school to find a job and to uh, get money to spoil his brothers to go to school. But he returned to school, to reached back to New York College in 1804. And he was also a member of the debating society of the uh, Yale College. Yeah. And that's the some things he was famous when he was uh, alive. Yeah. And the first thing is the War Hawks, which was based on among the Irish. Calhoun won his first election, Congress in 1810, and he became the leader of the War Hawks. Along with the Speaker Harry Clay and South Carolina Congressman William Lawrence, uh, they dis disagreed European complexities in the war between uh, Napoleon and Britain, and they brushed aside the movement objection of the New Englanders. They demand the war against Britain to preserve American honor and Republican values. And in 1817, President James Monroe appointed Calhoun to the security of war. He served until 1825. And he continued his role as a leading nationalist, nationalist during the uh, during the walks, and he, yeah, and he, he spoke uh, for a national bank for internal improvements, and uh, he have a protective traffic rule help the industrial nose wide and pay for the expensive new infrastructure. And he also become a vice president in he he failed the election in 1824 after failed the election he wanted to be a candidate for the vice president and like but there was a house of the representatives they have an election for him then he become vice president in 1828 and he also redo the vice president in the next four years on the two different presidents. And he won the election with a guy called Andrew Jackson, of which they have a lot of different argues, like uh, basically a lot of West presidents should have a good relationship with the president, but they have a pretty bad relationship, and their ideas about, their ideas about America are all different. And Andrew Jackson, all the Andrew Jackson's leading Calhoun, vice president, was also controversial. Uh, he, he developed a rift or uh, policy with President Jackson. And that time is about hard cash, and the policy which he considered a favor of Northern financial interests. And last, he also did uh, for the slavery. He led to the pro-slavery pro faction in the Senate in 1830 and 1840, which opposing both about the same and attempts like the Vermont uh, proviso to the limit expansion of the slavery into the Western Towers. And he was a major advocate of the 1850 <coughs> slave law, which required the cooperation of the of local law, enforcement officials in three states of return escape slaves.